Welcome to a follow-up video regarding rotating objects in Katia V5. So within the previous video we saw how we can rotate sketches, features within a part, components within an assembly and also special elements such as shapes within Imagine Shape Workbench or 3D scans within Digital Shape Editor. So I would like to give a shout out to Jack for pointing out how you can also do 2D rotations using the, the cursor. So let's see. I will also show his profile. So as you can see, he's a semi-retired Katia mentor and he has experience with both Katia V5 and V4. So let's take a look at that rotation. I made use of the same scene with the drone from uh, my previous videos. So in order to do 2D rotations, I will go within uh, a specific view, for example the front view. And if I will hold down the middle mouse button and afterwards I will press the right click, we're going to see that if I will move the cursor within the exterior of this circle, we can do rotations within a specific axis. At the same time, we can zoom in and zoom out using the common workflow within Katia. So, as we can see, this will rotate within that same view. And if I will move my mouse within the middle, this will go to a 3D rotation. And we can see the objects from different perspectives. We can also replicate this using the compass. So I didn't knew that if you will rotate over here, you will rotate outside the circle because I usually do use this compass to do the same rotation. So we can go within a specific view, for example, the back view. And afterwards, if I will drag this arc for the Y and Z, we can do that rotation. So this is really interesting that um, you can find out new features of the software like, like this by posting on a community like RapCAD. So another aspect regarding rotation that I want to discuss is how you can rotate all the elements within a product. So as we can see, I have over here the GoPro Karma drone. If I would like to rotate all the components, I can do a rectangle select within assembly design have those all selected and afterwards using the compass I will right click on the red dot go to edit and as you can see the absolute values will be grayed out in this case but we have the possibility to use the incremental rotation so if I will go on the u-axis we're gonna see that that will rotate the drone five degrees within that axis and we can do the same for the other axis or we can change the parameters for example 30 degrees on the w axis and we're going to see how that drone with all the components will rotate so keep in mind that you can use this if the components are not attached for example this is a step file that was not modeled in katia was modeled in solidworks and it was open over here as a step therefore all the components will not be linked together so if I will try to do the approach with the compass, with snap automatically to selected object, if I will, for example, select the upper body, we're going to see that the compass will move over there. And we can afterwards use the compass in order to manipulate the objects. So this workflow with the compass, I think, is the most common and the most rapid regarding um, selection of components and have them rotated on various axes. Okay, so I hope you like this content. I will position a video, a similar video over here at the bottom and a subscribe button to the right. Thanks for watching.